to the coronavirus pandemic, infections are rapidly increasing across the country. And tonight, the U.S. death toll has now reached more than 135,000. For a second time, California is shutting down indoor operations like restaurants and movie theaters. In Florida, there were more than 12,000 new cases reported Monday. That's after a record topping more than 15,000 on Sunday. In New Jersey, where cases are on the decline, New Jersey Transit and private carrier service can return to full capacity starting at 8 p.m. Wednesday. Now, on top of all of this, there is concern growing about possible reinfection for COVID patients who thought they recovered. CBS 2's Jessica Layton has more. Was I as vigilant as I could? No, I did not think I could end up in the hospital. Hanan Sabo sounding the alarm on how serious coronavirus can be after the 31 year old got sick. My husband had a fever, some body aches, some um, back pain, a little bit of a cough. The healthy husband and wife were presumed positive after attending a family wedding in New York back in March, where several other relatives also became ill. Symptoms went away, totally felt fine. Then last week, the Florida man got a headache and went to the hospital with a brain bleed. He also tested positive for what doctors believe was an unrelated case of coronavirus that was nearly four months after his initial symptoms. When you get reinfected, not reinfected, um, and so forth, and they don't know. A man in Tennessee believes he has corona again. He tested positive in March after a trip to New York City, felt better, but then recently came down with a sore throat and fever and just tested positive. Everybody that I've, I've read about or I've heard about that gets it a second time or a third time tends to be worse and worse and worse each time. But are patients really getting coronavirus twice, or does the illness just have the ability to stay in the body for months? There's no, as to my knowledge, no published data mm -hmm. on this yet. Now, some people would argue that we're not really seeing a secondary infection. We're just seeing a reactivation of the initial virus. It comes as the number of confirmed cases in the U.S. soars to 3.3 million. Grappling with about 8,000 new cases a day, California Governor Gavin Newsom is closing all indoor operations for restaurants, movie theaters, and bars must also shut down again. Uh, but the data suggests not everybody's practicing common sense. Officials in Florida are resisting calls for more closures, even though that state hit new records for cases this weekend. They have not taken it seriously enough. And in Texas, a doctor shares the last words of a 30-year-old who attended a so-called COVID party. I think I made a mistake. I thought this was a hoax, but it's not. The spikes are so concerning. New York State is now mandating travelers from so called quarantine states sign a form saying where they came from and where they're going before leaving the airport or face a $2,000 fine. None of this is pleasant, but we've gone through this before. And we don't want to go through it again. Jessica Layton, CBS 2 News.